Along with pictures, Dreamweaver makes it very easy to insert links into your website. Now there are three different kinds of links I want to talk about. The first of which is a link to an outside website, you know, another site on the internet. The second would be a link to uh, your email. So if someone here visiting your site wants to email you, you can make a quick link for them to do that. And the third link, which we will talk about uh, in detail in later videos, is linking to other pages that you have created. So for example, if this is a website about oceans, you might have multiple pages describing marine mammals, different kinds of fish, different predators, things like that. And you would want visitors to your site to be able to navigate between those different pages. And so you can insert those types of links as well. So the first link, a, a link to an outside website is uh, very easy to create if we simply highlight a piece of text or even a picture. If you just select a picture or highlight a piece of text, down here in our properties window at the bottom of the screen, you'll notice a link field. And if you know the website you want to link to, you just type that in here. And you'll need to include the HTTP colon slash slash www dot and then whatever page you are linking to. Maybe I'll, I want to link to National Geographic dot com. And then once you have your, your website linked in here, simply click off of your text and you'll notice that it turns blue and underlined indicating that it is a link. We can do the same thing with a picture. Simply click the picture and down here we have a link field as well and we can type in an internet address. I'll just use National Geographic again. Click away from it and that picture now becomes a link. If we do File Save to save the changes we just made, go into our internet browser and if we already have the website open, just click refresh and you'll notice the changes have been made and if we click on one of those, it takes us to the website. And if we go back and click on the other one we just made, again, takes us straight to the website we linked to. The other link, the second one for email, is very similar, but if you just type in whatever kind of text you want, email me for example, and we highlight that text, and then we go to insert email link. And it asks us the text again, uh, if we want to modify that we can, and then it asks what email address you want to be established. You type that in, hit OK, and now this link will activate an email program for them to email you to the address that you just defined. So if we do file save, open our browser, refresh, we now have our email link and if we click on it, it opens whatever default mail program that user currently has with the address already established. And we'll get into that third kind of link the navigating to another page that you have made uh, once we start talking about creating multiple pages for a website.